Actually, you know what? Ooh. Royalty free music. It's happening. Not. Not exactly happy, but let's get into it. Thanks for waiting. Appreciate your faces. Let's go. All right. It's been a while since we've done this, so let's see if I still got the skills. I don't know. We need to put on the PVL. Bam. There it is. All right. We got Cricknack, Maraud, Mr. Groot being banned on the blue side. On the red side, we got Ch uh, Chugnar, Aram, and Ignis getting banned out. And on the blue side, already picking up Mr. Uh, Fluffy Grok. On his on that side, and then we got Lindis and Crush being picked up for this blue team. Crush showing that he's got the tower disables. That's a dive comp if I've ever seen one. So now blue team is going to be coming through, picking out their champions. We got the mid looking like he's going to go with the Crixie and Talanis pickup. So already an interesting pick. They really need to have some kind of tanky hero to, or disabling hero. To be able to save that Talanus with that zero escape going on. All right. And right away, look at the picks coming out for uh, this Vanguard team. Vanguard picking up uh, Pura and Liliana coming out very quickly. Li uh, Pura rocking that health skill. Love it. Marja on this side and Zephyrus, which is exactly the character they need to be able to save this Talanus. And Marja being that tanky, life-stealing champion. Great pickup for that team. So right now, blue team's looking real good. What is going to be the last pick for this red team? And they really need... Looks like they got their jungle. They got their mid. They have two great supports. They need a great damage dealing character from what it seems like. And let's see what they're going to end up with. Uh oh Yorn coming out. So this team right here with the dive comp, with the crash is going to rock the Yorn and also a Lindus. So the double marksman on the red side versus the the tankiness that is this blue team. And we know in this game, this current meta, everything comes down to being tanky. And you know skill, but whatevs. Whatevs. All right, so already we're starting off waiting for this game to, s to finish up. This timer is so dang long every day. I'm glad that they shortened all of the timers for picking characters. It just makes casting so much more interesting uh, and less... Um, you spend half the time picking your character when you actually play this game sometimes. But we are off and ready to go. So if we're looking at badges, like, look at this... Uh, uh, TPP is actually looking real nice as far as just uh, uh, high ranked characters. So Team Pew Pew over on the blue side versus Vanguard that is going to be on that red side. All these characters, all these players are actually very high up there, but uh, there is one challenger, so good. Or master tier, I should say. All right, if you guys got predictions in chat, let them know. And this game is going to be starting. I don't think I have enough water for this, but that's okay. Show's going to go on. No big deals. Lost my voice just two days ago. Trying to get it back, and now you guys trying to got me casting over here. Oof. Not gonna be good. Not gonna be able to say anything tomorrow. And what is the holdup right now? Man, this is taking a while. All right. Get ready. Minions will be and here we go. So, and right away we get a pause. You gotta be kidding me. So it looks like someone on. One of the teams actually DC'd, and it looks like it is Crash. Crash is AFK in the base, and they really need that hero to make that team work. Crash is now moving, so it's good that he reconnected. If we take a look at the items, nothing out of the ordinary. Yorn actually rocking the boots because he doesn't have the mobility 
and also crest rocking the boots. So every everything else, uh, support items picked up by the obvious uh, the obvious players, and uh, Talana is actually rocking the attack speed as opposed to damage, which is pretty uh, standard for for that character. Looks like uh, Grok throwing the hook, missing the uh, Liliana in mid. It looks like they are all going to move back to their perspective spots in lane. Grok kind of lingering a little bit. Pura does see that hanging out just to add some uh, some help to this Liliana. Zephyrus and also uh, Lindus clearing out as much as they possibly can. And Lindus actually seems like may have the advantage at this point. But, oh, and that's Yorn actually getting picked up picked up by that Grok and is running the complete wrong direction. Grok just needs to hit one more, and he did finally. Grok does slow him down, and that's going to be a, a Yorn giving up first blood. Pura was coming to help, was a little out of position, and now he's using her heal to try to get out of that bad situation. So I don't know if Pura just was in was just too far away and without boots just couldn't catch up, but really needed to be wherever that Grok was and just didn't uh, uh, rotate quick enough. And Marja now seeing Lindus over in the jungle and Crush nearby. Lindus is playing very aggressive here. We'll have to back off. Oh, Crush, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, oh, look at this again. Yorn just completely caught out by the Grok. Pura is just not in the right place. Needs to be standing around this Yorn at all times, especially with a Grok in lane. Look at this Grok now going to be able to hook this Pura. Pura now in big trouble. Linda's getting the slow. Pura throwing out the heals, but that is going to be the end for her. And Liliana is too busy focusing on the dragon. Does not pick it up. And that is going to be a dragon for the blue team as well as three kills. Linda's trying her best to run away. Gets hooked again. My dude Kent over here doing an amazing job with these. Backing out. Going to get that life. He is already MVP. Four assists for my dude, uh, Mr. Tubby over here. All right. Things dying down now. Man, Red Team is struggling to get uh, any kind of uh, thing going right now. I really don't know which lane is going to uh, need the most attention, but right now it seems like top versus uh, Marja is uh, nothing that they really need to pay attention to at this point. It's basically a stalemate up there unless Marja does get the uh, the upper hand with that life steal. Looks like Yorn throwing out a uh, nice arrow, misses everything in the map and flies directly off. Was hoping to land or connect with the mid lane. But again, you can see that Grok's down on bottom. Able to land this hook for what it seems. Trying so hard. And that's what I'm talking about. Pure trying to get out. Throws out the ult. Hits both heroes. Incarnate is in a massive trouble at this point. They could dive this. And that's exactly what it looked like. They're waiting for Zephyrus to get there. And look at that. Bam. Missing there. Does get the slow. And Zephyrus is going to be able to finish this off. But Grok is taken out. Really tanked. The tower as much as po as much as he possibly could. Grok actually did a hundred percent what he should have done, but uh, the rest of their team really missed the opportunity. Look at this. Zephyrus was able to go in, use the slide before using the stun, which is exactly what you wanted to do. Hit him with his hit him with the stun, then throw out the 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 ability to uh, get your life still and also uh, the most damage as possible. So good. So, Dragon now respawning. It looks like it is a surefire bet for this blue team. Blue team now trying to initiate onto the Liliana. Liliana throwing out some damage. Pura trying to initiate. Throwing out the stun. Only hitting the Zephyrus. Oh, and that looks like Crixie does get taken out. Uh, Crest is down in the uh, thick of things. Xanus is down as well. And now Marja is super caught out. And she should be going down and the red team picked that up. That is four kills and a dragon for that red team. And that just caught them back. They, that just got them back in this game. So Crash coming down really sealed the deal for them to finish that uh, finish that team off. Pure doing a great job throwing out those heals. And now let's check in on bottom. Bottom has just been a complete struggle bus for Yorn. But he did get every one of those kills. 
in that last fight, which is really going to help. And oh, Pura getting hooked out by the Grok again, able to hopefully get out of the situation from that heal. But then that is going to be Talanis picking up that kill. So that is a 4 and 0 Talanis on the battlefield. A thing you're going they're going this red team is going to have to deal with. So Talanis now picking up uh should be able to pick up her item here shortly. Yorn's hanging back, very scared of this Grok that has been just a menace to him. While this is going on, let's see if he lands the hook, and he does, and that is going to be the end for Yorn. It was nothing that he should have been there for. The, the tower was going to get killed. He didn't need to be there. He tried to defend it, and he ended up uh, dying because of it. So, yeah, such a misplay. So, Yorn, again, misplaying down on bottom. He really should have just gave up the tower. Instead, he went in, died, and or the tower died as well as him. So, he's 4-4 four and four right now. He has the damage potential, but he's just really not making the, uh, the plays when it comes to lane. Also, Pura is just nowhere to be seen. Um, she keeps either getting hooked or Yorn gets hooked. And it's just really getting the ball rolling for this blue team. Blue team now reacting to this Liliana that is in mid. Now Liliana is going to be hooked here. And that's going to be the end for her. And we, we go up top. I'm sure that this gank train is going to make their way towards Crash. Crash probably realizing this. Backing out. But is playing a little aggressive there. Great jump. And that is a great disengage. Pura now getting an initiated on. And look at the damage from this team. Are they going to be able to finish her off? And with that stun, barely, barely finish her off. And look at this. Yorn again. Nowhere to be seen. Gets hooked again. Again was he hooked. The tower being tilled. And he is taken out. It's insane. What is going on? Again, big misplays after misplays. He really doesn't have a team around him. And he keeps trying to defend a tower when he's outmatched in every way. This, ta this team has a, d a tower diving comp. He cannot feel safe under those towers, yet he still is consistently thinking that he is. All right, if we take a look, this blue team looks like they're going to rotate up to top to try to finish off this tower. And Albira oh, getting caught out again. This Grok is all over this team. Crixie coming in with her ult, a little obsessive, but now... Uh, Crash is trying to get away as best he can. Yorn there to try to help out, but this Crash is in just a mess of trouble. They quickly focus onto that Yorn, which is exactly what you want to do. And now Crash getting taken out as well. It is now 16 and 4, and we have yet to see Lindis. And here she comes, getting hooked again and taken out immediately. A blue team tower has been destroyed. All right. The, the, I mean, this Grok is absolutely all over the place. 11 assists, 2 kills, 1 death. MVP right next to Talanas, who is 9 and 0 oh and 2 assists. All right. So if we take a look back at everything that's going on right now, 4 towers for this blue team, 1 dragon, 23k gold. There's about to be a fight over by this blue buff, and it is really not worth it. But Yorn, I believe, was able to take that, which was a great call on his point. Marja in the in the middle of everything, really able to tank it. Here comes Grok with that ult. And sure enough, they were able to take out quite a bit of the heroes. And they are very low, but they're just not able. They don't have the tankiness uh, with the two marksman combo to go. And Crest was too busy up on top trying to save his lonely tower. So, wow. Great plays all around. This tanky blue team is just working wonders. And they're able to save this Talanis. And if you're able to do that and execute on that, you will win fights uh, with the ma massive damage buff that she gets from her skills um, and her lack of um, um, escapes. They give her so much damage. Look at this. Another, just another hook and a situation gone bad by the Pura really overextended didn't have her team with her and exploring the jungle thinking that it was completely cleared out runs into four heroes so Talanis actually uh, 
for her second item, ended up picking up the Bow of Slaughter. So that life steal, she is really going for that um, abil the ability to be as as life steal as possible and be able to try to live. A, a great hook right there, picking up the Lindis. Lindis doing a great was just a he couldn't miss. He threw a hook right in the middle of five people, getting Yorn at this point. He's picking off every hero that he wants to in order. This guy is a surgeon with this hook at this point. And now Pura, one after another. He's picking him off. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Will he land another hook before the end of it? And he does. He lands it on Crash. You can't be serious. He just needs to hit uh, Liliana for the royal flush of hooking. And he lands it. He absolutely lands it. <laughs> No way! <laughs> he hits the absolute royal flush of hooking one champion after another, crushing it. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. You That was just amazing execution by that Grok. Amazing execution. <laughs> Can you believe what we just saw? Oh my God, that was awesome. Drink some water, boys. I'm about to lose my voice again. Whoa, 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 whoa. MVP uh, broken. Grok the real MVP. Wow. That was just that was a that was a thing that happened. Oh my goodness! Great stuff there. <laughs> wow. I'm just absolutely speechless on that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. I mean, this game basically casts itself. I don't think you need. I don't even think you need me. He is now my Lord and Savior, Drew. <laughs> what, what up, Drew? Uh. Community, what's up, dude? Boys, that was crazy. Grass, how you doing, bud? Uh, the unholy icon, Grok Jesus, right? Dryer Cat, good to see you as well. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are enjoying it. About lost my voice there. That was uh, that was intense. That was intense. Crepe, thank you for those those hours though. Ooh, ooh wee. Falling in love with uh with Grok Grok Jesus. <laughs> Rock Grok Jesus. I, I'm I think I'm gonna break my voice. If we have another game like that, this is game two. I have potentially like six games total to cast. I I don't I don't I don't even know what my life is. One, two, three, <clears throat> I lost my voice on Saturday. Lo almost lost it again on Sunday. I'll eventually sub again once I get money crepe. Don't even worry. By the way, if you guys missed TwitchCon, uh they're now making it so your subs go in uh community I can't even say the word, but they're uh, earned, not uh, kept. Uh, like what? What I mean by that is that you earn your, like it'll be like, hey, if you are 15 months, sounds like puberty. You know, I'm still a grown boy, still a grown boy. I need to get get up to you know seven feet, because I'm already six. But so, for instance, if you have 15 months. 
and you skip a month, say you just didn't have money or whatever, and you skip an entire month, by the time you come back the next month, you're still at 16 uh, months in a row, which is cool. Or months total, not in a row. Can I get my hours back? Nah, they're mine, bro. <clears throat> oh my god, my voice. I felt, I, there's a point. You hear it squeak? Yep. I, yep, felt it. it. It hurts. You should expect a 50-minute game now? Oh my god. Sub me and coach if your voice hurts. Yeah, no. Oh my god. No, that was, that was, I'm, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. I don't have to do any talking tomorrow. I'm good. I'm good. All right, we'll wait for bands to go out and then we'll, uh, we'll switch it up. Oh, man. That was good. Devil's good to see you, though, bud. Don't insult this man, this godly, manly, man, boy, child, tween thing. <laughs> You said in the beginning, uh, you said in the beginning of the stream. What did I say in the beginning of the stream? Oh, can you get your ass back? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. I, I didn't realize what you were talking about. Eric, what's up, buddy? Uh, we're just casting this game right now. I about freaked out and lost my voice. I, let's, let's check out this clip before we get into the, um, what's it called? I'm sorry. Look at this. I just want to check this clip out. This thing was... Legendary. Uh, here we go. Point. And now Pura! One after another! He's picking them off! I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Will he land another hook before the end of it? And he does! He lands it on Crash! You can't be serious! He just oh needs God. to hit uh, Liliana for the royal flush of hooking. And he lands it! He absolutely <laughs> lands it! <laughs> All right, let's get into this, boys. <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. 10 out of 10 will post this. That is a that is a clip. That is a damn clip. Oh my god, that's so good. <clears throat> it just needs to get the the first hook and that would be great. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. So, uh, Van uh, Vanguard is now on the blue side. Vanguard does need to win this in order to go to a game three. Um, Team Pew Pew over here did take game one, and they let them have Grok. Are you kidding me? And also, they banned Chugnar. So, the complete counter to Grok is Chugnar, and they banned it. What are they thinking? Aram, Chugnar, uh, Talanis, all banned, and then we have... Tree, Maraud, banned on for this red side. We got Ignis, Crushed, um, ex excuse me, Wukong, Gilder, and uh, Slims for this Vanguard team. And Crush, or I'm sorry, Cricknack, uh, Lindis, Arthur, Arthur, Grok, and uh, Vera. So, wow. Cannot believe they gave Kent... Grok again after that last game. He was all over the place. He was absolutely all over the place. And I think that's what we're going to see. We're going to see a lot more of that going on. Yo, if you guys don't follow uh, 305 King, I shouted him out earlier uh, when we were going through all the pictures. Go follow my dude. Go follow my dude. There's a 20 second delay. I'm doing the casting, bud. But it's good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I... If we see Grok do what he did last game, I will not have a voice for the game for the next set of games. I just won't. There's just no way. There's just no way. All right. Game is starting. I'm going to run and grab a, grab some water cuz my dude, this is insane.
All right, I'm back. Woo. Have I heard of the new Wukong Slims combo? No, I haven't. I have not. Tell me more. Tell me about your life. What is that? Any stream memes, dank teams wouldn't have you. <laughs> They didn't ban the Lord and Savior. You're absolutely right. Rain the new Veer steam pump skin. I'm, yeah, that is it is pretty cool. It's it's not bad. I just wish it was better. That's all. All right, boys. Here we go. Game two. VG needs to win this in order to go to a game three. Game one was a complete grok fest, and it was intense there. All right, and. Everyone is off and running, it looks like, except for Gilder. Gilder seems to be having some maybe technical issues. And I'm, luckily, the red team does not know this. Gilder finally out of the base. Creeps are already spawned and about to be in the middle. Grok doing a little mad disrespect in lane. It looks like he is ready to go. Grok, the Lord and Savior, ready. And look at this, Lindis. What? I don't know what they're doing. They're actually abandoning. He actually hit him. He actually hit Meta, but Meta was casting his skill, which made him invulnerable. Wow. So already he's a hundred percent in 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 hooks. Take a look at all the lanes. We see three heroes very close in this mid lane. Lind is now running down on bottom. Slim's throwing out the stun onto the red buff. Uh I don't know why, just to check it, I I'm assuming. Grok now down on bottom, looking to uh looking for some slims. And things are a little too calm. Oh, Gilder actually running straight into Grok. Grok now trying to th throw out some damage best he can. The Slim's arrow does miss Grok. They throw out the stuns, and they're doing a great job locking him down. But look at Meta. It flickers, but the complete wrong direction. And then Ignis coming down to offer some support. Uh, Crickneck now seeing this does a great job trying to avoid those, but I think he was seen anyways. They will know that Cricknack is going down on bottom. If that does get called out, now definitely know since Ignis was right there in that bush. He did not see them coming out. And now look at Wukong. Look at this. This is great positioning right here. The amount, amount of information that this right here gives them, they know where Wukong is. They know where the mid is running to. And also Gilder, which really cleans up, uh, allows Lindis and also the other. Oh, we got another hook. 100% hook rate for this uh, for this Grok. And that is crushed actually getting taken out there by the Wukong. So a great initiation by Grok, but just wasn't able to follow it up with the rest of his team. That's the thing with Grok that you got to be careful of, is making sure that you have the damage once you get the hero. This is going to be a uh, blue team picking up this dragon. And they reset it by themselves. What are they doing? Oh, no. They just pulled... Pulled the dragon out just a little too far, which really wastes enough time. And that's four heroes that just got delayed there. All right. Trying to save my voice until the, the big things happen. Trying to drink as much water as I can because I've got a feeling that this is going to go into some uh, crazy, crazy part. The... Crash throws his skill, but throws it in the wrong direction. Ignis coming up, throwing out the stuns, and wow. Blue team. This is a different team, I swear. Oh, and as we look, as I'm saying that, down on bottom, Slims is taken out. Gilder almost as well, uh, but uh, does manage to get away, and I'm sure that that was part of Grok, but Grok, Vera, combo down, uh, down on bottom is a sure... Uh, kill for anyone oh we got another hook coming out for the ignis wukong was coming to uh offer some assistance but quickly goes away all right red team now rotating down on bottom able to get the are you kidding me able to get the minion from wukong we haven't seen much of Cricknack yet Cricknack has only died once, not part of any assist, which is really odd for a Crickneck, especially at level six. You can easily uh, 100 to zero someone. Uh, Grok's just throwing out his first miss hook of the game, just trying to see what's out there. And look at this, great teamwork right there, able to execute really well. 
onto that Gilder. And Slims is trying his best to stay alive, but that is a dead Slims. And he barely, barely was able to uh, uh, get Krikneck down low enough to where he thought he might be able to kill him. But uh, again, it's just not worth staying around these towers when they're about to die. He did his best. He could have just jumped this way and also flickered and been completely gone. But he wanted to stay. Ignis getting hooked again. And that combo is just massive. And that's going to be another kill for this red team. Red team is now starting their comeback. And this is what we saw last um, last game. It was more uh, defined early on. But red team finally catching their, uh, their stride from what it seems like. Rock able to land... A hook, but just barely missing. Gilder does have the uh, the speed boots, which if he wouldn't have, he would have been hooked there. Red team picking up that dragon, so it is a one-for-one -one dragon. Grog just sitting there watching him. At this point, Veer throwing out his inform throwing out his skills, and that is Kricknack finally getting the kill that we've been waiting for. Monkey coming in, trying to get it, uh, Lily. Oh, I'm sorry, Ig. <laughs> I can't even talk now. There's so much action. Slim's going to get picked up again by the Krikneck. And that was... Um, uh, God, I can't even think of her name right now. Oh, my God. Lindis. Jeez. That was Lindis getting... Uh, attempted to get killed there, but uh, they were able to protect her enough. So, great job for the red team. Oh, a great ult. A uh, little miss, misplay by the, the ult, but it did hit and land, but they just weren't able to get a kill there. Crash had to blow his ult in order to save a lot of his heroes. And, uh, man, my voice is, like, fading. I'm, like, losing. I'm not able to concentrate. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Grok looking to land that hook. He does. Arthur there as well. He Arthur does have execute, and he's going to be able to use it, um, but used it a little too soon and ends up perishing for that. Grok able to get out of that situation, and now Grok looking for a hook onto that crest, and he barely misses. Now Krikneck jumping in, taking aggro from that tower with Wukong, was able to take him out. This red team is continuing to push, even though they lost two teammates. And they finally are now going to back out. Dragon is up. No one is going to be around for that. It looks like maybe Slims and Wukong should rotate down to that. But they haven't yet. Oh, oh look at this. Linda's trying to get what she can onto that uh, Ignis. But not able to finish him off. His flat, uh, flicker is down at this point. Ignis uh, needs to be careful here. Gilder coming in to try to offer some support. Oh, Grok getting hit with that. Oh, and Vera doing an amazing job, but Grok's going to go down. They tried so hard to keep him alive. Now, the rest of the team is all stunned. Red team was so stunned, and Blue is so timid about trying to initiate. They were really worried about once uh, Krikneck was unstunned, what kind of damage he was going to do, and they uh, back off from it. Ignis, or I'm sorry, Lit Lindis should be able to pick that up, but Crash comes, throws the ult, and misses completely. The dragon is going to be the next thing that's going to be taken out, but Ignis goes down to Vera, so very caught out. Must have been scouting for the dragon and just ran into a bad situation. Man, ev there's so much action going on all over the place. This is crazy. So things are slowing down. It looks like Grok lining up for a hook onto that Slims. But look, he doesn't have his teammate. He needs to be careful of that. Gilder throwing out the stun right after a little too little too late. But Grok comes in with an amazing, amazing hook. And that is going to be a pickup onto Gilder. Gilder is taken out. And that's the thing you got to be careful of uh, most of the time is when you lose an objective, don't die in the process. It's so hard to, to count for those trades. And it looks like Grok cut out very much in the enemy jungle and uh, ends, up, tower has been ends up dying for it. If we look up on red, it looks like Arthur is in pursuit of that crush, but that is going to be next to nothing. Ignis. 
Ignis equals uh, Lindis. <laughs> They're so close. I didn't realize until I started. I was that's why I was blanking on her name. I was like, I want to call her Ignis, but yeah, Lindis. Ignis now getting initiated by Vera, and they almost finish him off, but not quite. Gilder does come in, trying to land some skills onto her. Vera getting taken out by the Monkey Man himself, and look at this. The massive initiation by Arthur and also Cricknack, and that is three heroes down for nothing in mid, and this is going to be a push into in a possibly a high ground tower. Crash coming in, trying to throw out some damage as best he can, but this tower is going to go down. He needs to get out of this situation. And this is what I'm talking about. This team just keeps mis make it, making these mistakes. Now Crash and Monkey are both very low and both die. Just silly mistakes on this team. They, they're they dying with objectives that they really should just back out, uh, give up an objective. If it's a high ground tower, I totally understand sacrificing a life for it. But when it is an outside tower like that, it's not worth it. All right, slowing things down. The uh, Abyssal Dragon is, is enraged, and then we also do have the Dark Slayer. The red team could and uh, go for this, but looks like uh, Lindus doesn't have very much mana, so they're gonna probably wait for her to come back up. At this point, I think that the the red team should take the Dark Slayer. They have the damage. Having the ma uh oh, look at that Grok. Was right next to the to Mr. Monkey Man himself, Wu Kong, but went for Slims, and that's some presence of mind right there that we're talking about. Look at this, Gilder getting taken out, and Wu Kong was finally seen there. And just, just the amount of damage that this red team has at this point is just so massive. This blue team cannot keep up. They cannot keep up. All right, and taking out another tower. Crash getting hit there with, and doesn't, he dies with his ult. You're, when you get hooked like that, you have the chance to throw your ult off before Grok is ulted. And sure enough, sure he didn't, I don't know if he doesn't know that or not, but he ends up dying with his ult, which is very unfortunate. And look at that, Grok coming in, landing both, the, both of them. In his ult, Monkey tries to go in, trying to finish off one champion, but that's the wrong choice, my friend, and that is the game. Crash is up in six, and he does have his ult still because he didn't uh, didn't throw it, but it's not going to be enough. And that is the game. So great, great games. But uh, Team Pew Pew does take it. With that being said, let's turn the, the music back on. Give me one second. Oops. <laughs> but wow, Grok was all over the place. That was awesome to watch. That was really awesome. I'm really surprised by the, uh, the ban on Chugnar. Chugnar is the counter to Grok, and they decided to ban him. Uh, VG ended up banning him, which is like a no-brainer of something. You either, if you ban Chugnar, you have to know that you're potentially giving up Grok, which is just a not fun champion, and if you do, you need that ability, and they try to run the Gilder to try to, you know, stop maybe that from happening, but we really didn't get to see a great Gilder ult through that entire, um, through that entire thing. But, man. You're eating, <laughs> eating a, uh, chocolate bar from TwitchCon? That's awesome. How is it? Is it the one, the double-sided one? Because if so, let me get some. I didn't get one. I didn't hit that booth. Is this... The Royal Flick ho Hooks. Is this it? Yeah, we're about to watch this right, right meow. Uh, give me one second. Bam. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Boys, here we go. As, as lifesteal as possible and be able to try to live 
a, a great hook right there, picking up the Lindis. Lindis doing a great, was just a, he couldn't miss. He threw a hook right in the middle of five people. Getting Yorn at this point, he's picking off Dude, my every hero terrible. that he wants to in order. This guy is a surgeon with this hook at this point. And now Pura, one after another. He's picking them off. Oh my God. I cannot so believe good. this. So I cannot good. believe this. Will he land another hook before the end of it? And he does. He lands it on Crash. You can't be serious. He just needs to hit uh, Liliana for the royal flush of hooking. And he lands it. <laughs> he absolutely lands it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Kyle, did you see? Did you see Shroud? He did. He really did. Kyle definitely saw uh, Shroud. Got to meet Kyle. It was great. It was a great time.